Hola, good people. This is your man, DJ Wolf D, coming at you with yet another Akai MPC tutorial video. Uh, with this particular video, we're going to cover uh, a very, very specific, important piece of subject matter that many folks have been having problems with because Akai, unfortunately, did not do a great job at explaining how to do this properly. Ah, shame on you, Akai. <laughs> uh, and... and I can understand why this is such a problem for many people, especially for folks who are brand new to uh, using the Akai MPC. So the thing we're going to cover, uh, and it doesn't matter if you have an MPC Studio or an MPC Renaissance, uh, this is a, basically a software based thing. We're going to show you how to pull up multiple plugins, all right? multiple plugins and use them to sequence a bunch of different instruments and all that type of good stuff. Uh, once again, many, many folks uh, have been hitting me up asking me to show them how to do this properly. So, no problem. It's very simple. A couple of basic steps, literally. A couple of very, very basic steps. And you're probably going to bug out when you see how simple this is. But, uh, of course, you know, if you don't know it, then you're not going to know how to do it properly. But... Fortunately, literally, a couple of very simple, easy steps. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, just create a basic, quick little four-bar beat uh, just as a foundation for this little learning lesson here. So uh, let me just pull up. Uh, oh yeah, we'll just use the 808 kit. I'll be nice and simple. Uh, let's see. Let's switch this. Take this down to, say, 90 beats per minute. Slow this down a tad bit here. And uh, let's switch this up to four, four total bars. All right, let me just program a beat here, first of all. All right, now let me throw some hi-hats in here. basic little beat just for the foundation of what we're about to do once again uh, so now on to the important stuff the juicy stuff we're about to pull up our very first plugin so the default setting for the MPC software is you know you turn it on say track one and the type of uh, instrument drum you know for sample stuff for the pads so here's the very first thing for you to remember all right you write this down if you need to one, one of the first of just these two or three little simple steps Anytime you want to pull up a brand new instrument, you need to create a new track for it. All right? Remember that. Anytime you want to pull up a brand new instrument, pull up a new track for it. Create a new track. All right? So we just did that. We're now on track two. Now, the type of instrument that we want, not drums, a plug-in. So we need to switch this to plug-in. All right? So here we are, track two, plug in. We're ready to pull up our first plug in, right? So because this is the very first plug in that we're pulling up, we don't have to worry about this plus sign. But remember this plus sign. We're going to come back to this when we're ready to pull up the rest of our virtual instruments, the rest of our plugins. Once again, this is the very first plug in we're pulling up inside of this session. So we don't need to worry about this. Uh, we pull up our new track. We switch this to plug-in, and now all we have to do is pull up the actual plug-in that we want. Let's go ahead and grab the bank. All right? So uh, the nylon guitar is the first default instrument for the bank. So let's just go ahead and record with this, okay? first plug-in laid, our first virtual instrument, the good old nylon guitar. Don't forget, anytime you want to open up the window for the plug-in that you're working with, just click the little E button right here. 
right? Because I want to take the volume down on this nylon guitar a little bit. Okay, all right. So now on to the next very, very important part. We want to pull up another virtual instrument, another plug-in. So let's say I want to pull up a grand piano right now. So these are some of the, the uh, mistakes that people are, are making when they do this. Uh, folks who don't know what to do next, they may say, okay, well, I got that recorded, so now I want to go ahead and pull up another uh, plug-in or another virtual instrument. Uh, I want to pull up the grand piano now. It's like my nylon guitar is already laid down, so now I want to pull up a grand piano and play that. All right, wait for it to pop up here. All right, there it is. So now I should be able to record my grand piano along with my nylon guitar, right? But if I hit play... Oh no, the nylon guitar is gone. That's because we just replaced it with this grand piano. We made a mistake, all right? So let's put the nylon guitar back. Okay, so you saw that mistake. That's a major mistake people are making. So I'm gonna show you what to do. So I already told you this a minute ago. I'm gonna tell you again, I'm gonna keep telling you this. Anytime you wanna pull up a brand new instrument, the first thing you have to do is create a brand new track for it. All right, pull up a brand new track. So track three, all right? So there are some folks out there who know that that's the next step to pull up a brand new track anytime you wanna pull up a, a new instrument or a new plugin, but they don't know what the next step is after that and they make this mistake. So we have our nylon guitar laid down, right? So now I want to pull up a brand new instrument. I want to pull up that grand piano. So I just created a new track, right? Correct. Track three. So some people think that because I created this new track, I should now be able to go down and pull up my grand piano, right? Because I just created that new track. So when I pull up the grand piano, it pops up. But when I hit play, once again, my nylon guitar is gone. Still goofing up. All right, so let's put our nylon guitar back again. All right, there's one more step that you have to remember. Uh, once again, remember I told you just a couple of basic, simple steps? So this is the first step. Anytime you want to pull up a brand new instrument or a brand new plug-in, you have to create a new track for it, which we already did, track three. But the next step, you have to create a brand new program for that slot. All right, right now, the Bank 001 is the program that has our nylon guitar in it. So if we want to add a grand piano, first we pull up our new track, and then we click the plus sign to create our new program slot. All right, so those are the two steps. One, create a new track, and two, click the plus sign to create a brand new program slot. So now you can see the bank 001, and then plug in 002. We haven't added a new, uh, new plugin for this slot yet. So now, here in the plugin section, we can go back to MPC expansion or any other plugin. I'm going to select the bank again now. And now look what we have the bank 002. So now we have the bank 001, which has our nylon guitar on it, and the bank 002, which now allows us to add our grand piano. Where is the grand piano? Here's the grand piano. Okay, the bank 002 slot has our grand piano. So now, when I hit play, we can still hear our nylon guitar and the piano also. All right, so our new instrument is no longer replacing the old instrument. That's because we followed the two simple steps. One, create a brand new track. And two, hit the plus sign to create a new program for the new instrument or the new plugin. All right? So now I'll go ahead and record a piano part. I'm gonna lower the volume on that piano also. All right, let's go ahead and record some piano. Nice and simple. Now I'm getting the hang of this, right? So now let's 
pull up another plugin. Let's pull up some strings. What's the first thing we need to do? You already know this now, right? First thing we need to do is create a new track. Pull up a brand new track. Anytime you want to pull up a brand new plugin or a brand new instrument, create a new track for it. And then the second thing we need to do, hit the plus sign to create a brand new program slot. All right, so now you got it locked into your brain. Every time you want to pull up a new instrument or a new plugin, create a new track for it, then hit the plus sign to create a new program slot for it. So now we have our nylon guitar on the bank 001. We have uh, our grand piano on the bank 002. And in plugin 003, I'm going to add a completely different plugin. Instead of going back to the NPC expansions, I'm going to add one of my VST plugins. We'll go with Contact 5. This is where I'm going to get my strings from. All right. Contact. Pull up good old session strings. All right. So now we have a third instrument. Let me go ahead and record some strings in here. the volume on these strings. Okay, so people, that's it. Nice and simple. Those couple of simple basic steps I, I know you're probably feeling crazy right now. Like, oh my God, that's all it was? That was all I needed to do? Been going through all these issues with uh, my me pulling up new plugins and new instruments and then replacing the old plugins I had? Yes, just those two simple steps. Create a new track for it first. And then hit the plus sign to create a new program slot for the new plugin that you want to pull up. That's it. Same thing applies for uh, drums, uh, programs, and, and, and drum kits, all right? So let's say, because right now, you know, I have this 808 uh, drum kit pulled up on track one, right? Well, let's say I wanted to pull up a completely different drum kit. I would do the exact same thing. I would create a new track. It's already on drums because I went back to track one, which was the drum track. And then what would I do? You see the 808 there, right? But no, we need to create a new program slot. Same thing. All right. Create a new track. Create a new program slot for it. And now, as you can see here, program two, a drum program, because you can always tell what this is, uh, what kind of... Uh, 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 instrument track this is by the little icon so the little plug-in icon there for plugins the little drum pad icon for drums uh, now program two I can drag another you know drum kit in here whatever this is let's drag it in see what this is a totally new set of drums we have to go along with the 808s that are already there Okay, so now I can take those drums and program away, and that's it. That's it, people. So once again, last time I'm going to say this, the two simple things to remember. Anytime you want to pull up a brand new plugin or a brand new instrument, first thing you do is create a brand new track for it, and then you hit the plus sign to create a new program slot for it. All right? That's it. That's all there is to it. Have fun creating. This is your man Wolf D signing out. Peace.